Sorry. There we go. Hi, everybody. <laughs> hey, everybody. Happy Sunday. We have had a fun weekend. We've been out and about socializing, yeah. which isn't always the norm for us. Nope. <laughs> yeah, we were fortunate enough. Um, surprisingly, here in Texas, there are quite a few travel nurses and a few families that are in the area, but it's been really challenging syncing up schedules and work schedules and trying to kind of coordinate being able to spend time with one another. Um, we were fortunate and we got to hang out with the LaRue family of Skip to LaRue um, a couple of months back um, and we just had a blast, treasured their time. But this week we got to hang out with not one, but two full-time families who also happen to be travel nurses. Um, on Friday, we got to hang out with Christina and Nate Jackson and their family. Um, they are raising on road trips on Instagram. And we got to hang out today and yesterday with Diary of a Family. Yes. It's real cool. Uh, it is kind of hard to meet up with people, but they... Uh... Diary of a family, anyway, happened to be passing through and uh, raising on road trips. The Jackson family, they're actually working a job down in the Houston, Houston area. Mm -hmm. So we met in College Station, and we had some fun there. That's right. Well, let's see who's here already. Hello, New Horizons. Hey, guys. Thin Blue Lane RV Live. Hush Cats Camping, Mr. Jerry Holly, and Diary of a Family. I'm trying a new thing where I'm trying to keep my chat not moving so I can actually. <laughs> so we missed some stuff last week. It's hard. Mm -hmm. All these guys that you do lives, it's it's hard to see everything, and I know that we'll probably still miss stuff. And mm -hmm. but we're gonna try to. I'm gonna try to keep my chat from scrolling on a different screen and. See what, see how that goes. Yes, and we're gonna try and be more mindful of it, and like pop in so we can be a part of the chat. We don't miss things, or you know, we don't have to come back to conversations we were already having. Clearly, we're newbies, so we're trying to figure this out. So, <laughs> thanks for being patient with us. But I think yes. we also missed saying hello to Happy Place Camping and Thin Blue Lane RV. Yes. Hey guys, thanks for joining us. Diary of a Family wants to know if they were as crazy as we thought they would be. Yeah. No, Absolutely. Not. Crazy. No, <laughs> no. That, that's always that's always the part of the anticipation of meeting new people, it, especially if you've been introduced to them online, which was the case for both the Jackson family and raising on road trips and Diary of a Family. Is you see what is presented online, but you you usually want to put like your best face forward online, mm -hmm. and so and then you just yeah you just don't know like like how it's gonna be. But no, we had a great time. They're awesome folks, and I can't wait to see more of them and hang out more. Yes. Yeah. And God bless them, man. Three little ones. Um, of course, our kids are older now. We we deal with new issues. Not, you know, little kid issues like potty training and, you know, uh, reading and ABCs and things like that. Of course, our oldest is nearly 13. So we deal with like preteen attitude issues <laughs> Ugh. and, you know, just like, stuff like that. So it's it was, only just begun. Yeah. But it was fun. It was fun to kind of remember, you know, how our kids were at that age. And boy, their youngest, little Edison, he's three. Ooh, he's got energy for days. <laughs> but he's so cute. Hmm. He's just the sweetest kid. So, yeah, we had a blast hanging out with both families. Um, and like Bill said, it was it was a special treat because we don't always, you know, get that kind of quality time on the road. I feel like it's like feast or famine. Right. In, in our line of work. Um, so if you all didn't catch it on our live stream last week, you know, we talked about how as travel nurses, we're in a location for three months at a time. 
So, you know, we don't get to caravan with other folks. It's really challenging to meet up with other folks um, just because our schedules and the way we travel is so different. So um, like Bill had mentioned, the Jackson family had been down in Houston and Christina messaged me the other day and she's like, hey, you know, I've got my schedule to the end of the month. You know, I, we'd love to meet you. Um, so, yeah, we just kind of emailed schedules back and forth and we picked a day and we said, OK, let's do this. Uh, we decided to meet in the middle at College Station and uh, just make a day of it. And it was a lot of fun. Um, go check out the pictures and stuff on our Instagram or on Facebook so you can meet their lovely family and see all the fun stuff we did. Mm -hmm. But um, we went to on a campus tour. Well, not a campus. The, the stadium, stadium tour. tour. Yeah. Kyle Field. Is that what it, mm -hmm. College Station, home of the Texas A&M Aggies. Yeah. Which, yeah, was kind of fun. Mm -hmm. A&M. Does anybody know what that stands for? We actually looked it up. I knew it before, but I forgot when the kids were asking. And then we joked everywhere there was the, the sign was a big T, and then there was an A on one side and an M on the other. So I joked that there's it's a lot of ATMs here. Mm -hmm. You can get money all over the campus. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Yeah. What did I see up here? Posh Cats Camping said his uh, wife, Sue, has been a registered nurse and uh, sister for 40 years. Wow. Hopes to retire in 2022. It's oh, coming. Man. That is so close. <laughs> Good job, girl. I'm excited for you. Retirement. That's that's a fun word. But I have a feeling we won't be saying a lot of that for quite a few years to come. But well, nursing for almost 40 years. I mean, really, that's a tremendous accomplishment. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I feel like nurses don't get as much props as you know the rest of the public servants out there because let's face it we are public servants that's what we do we provide a service of caring to the public so i want to thank you for your service that's amazing and enjoy the upcoming retirement all right <laughs> that's awesome uh jay charles outdoors has joined us also thank you hello welcome thank you. yes um but yeah so after we did our texas a m camp or I want to keep saying campus. We were on the campus. The campus is huge. Mm. But after we toured the stadium, which was fun, um, because, of course, Bill being from Nebraska is a huge Husker fan. Me being from Iowa, although I'm not like a super crazy sports fan, I do root for the Hawkeyes in Iowa. So it almost felt like cheating <laughs> <laughs> going to another stadium. But it, it's kind of it's cool, kind of to see, you know, where they invest all of their money and, you know, see how their stadium is set up and, you know, what they use for the fans, you know, for, for all of their viewing. But I must say, I was shocked, absolutely shocked at their, their, their suite prices. So, of course, like <laughs> all of the stadiums have these swanky areas or these swanky seat, suites where you can have, you know, you and 15 of your buddies come to the game um have snacks and drinks served and you know whatever it's, it's like a little mini apartment to watch a football game and they had um they had two different levels of suite they had one it was like the american league well it goes well it was three but yeah one of them was like a fundraiser kind of yeah deal. and the other one was the legacy the legacy suite and they said that when you you basically are buying a suite, but you're renting it for a period of, of 15 years. And for the American suite, it was $500,000 paid up front. No financing. Not like an RV. No 20-year no financing. <laughs> no, you had to pay that up front. And then it got you like maybe 8 to 10 folks in the room. And then if you invited anybody else, they also had to have a, tack, a ticket to get into the stadium and then if you wanted to be real posh and go for the legacy suites they were like a million dollars i mean and it was a 15-year contract that yeah. we had to have yeah. so it's a million dollars every year for 15 years for a yeah, college football which yeah. is i mean like she said i'm from nebraska everybody loves college football up there so 
I understand it. But yeah, the, the difference, I think, between the 500000 and the million mainly was that it was a private bathroom and there was like a pantry, your own private pantry, so you could keep your own weekly snacks and well, whatnot. Well, it was closer to the 50-yard line, too. So right. Better yeah. viewing. Yes. I don't know, man. If I had that much money to blow, it would not be on football. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> but... I guess, you know, if, mm -hmm. you know, those big oil tycoons down here in Texas, they just don't know what to do with their money. And football is life down here. So there you have it. So that was interesting. Yeah. Well, happy place camping. It's dying to know. What yeah. does the A&M stand for? Agriculture and Mechanical yes. University. Yes. And they're called the Aggies for short. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I don't know what their mascot is. If it's like a farmer <laughs> and he's got his pitchfork over here or, or what it is. Mm -hmm. But yeah. That's right, Jerry Holly. The, the main difference is half a million dollars. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Top change. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't spend it on soccer either. The real football, right? Posh cats. Posh cats. The real football. But no, that was a, uh, that was neat. Just because mm -hmm. we got to walk around, they showed you the sweeps, and then they, uh, you walked out on the field. I always feel like, like when we were in New York going to City Field, I always feel like, wouldn't it be cool if they actually like showed you the locker rooms and stuff? Mm -hmm. Like, like why don't they take you in there? I understood with the Mets because there was a game that day, and obviously you're not gonna walk in there with all the players. But it's the but that season, would be awesome, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That that might be worth the extra money, but no. Yeah. But that was funny. But just empty stadium. They should just take you everywhere. No, yeah. they go show you the ritzy suites and the clubs where you can get drinks and mm -hmm. that, yeah. and they walk you out on the field, but can't walk on the grass. But but no, it was cool. Yeah, it was a, cool. all about experiences, which is what we always say. Exactly. Hello there, J. Charles Outdoors. Thanks for joining us. Is that, I can't tell what those emojis are, Diary of a Family. Are those, I know they counted snacks. Are those chips? Are they baked potatoes? I don't know. I'll eat them both. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, I, well, the ones, yeah, I don't know what that is earlier. Thanks for looking out, Thin Blue Lane. Talking about hitting that like button. Absolutely. If we're just getting warmed up, but if you're liking what you're clapping. seeing already, we, we would absolutely enjoy hitting that like. Oh, clapping. Okay. Clapping. I have noticed something, and I, I apologize. We're trying a different location. We're seeing what we like and what we don't like this week. We don't have the TV behind us, but you can see out our window. Yeah. But I do notice, Seems I think it's our table that shakes. Oh, yes. And I noticed the screen doing this. If that's making you nuts, I apologize. It's kind of making me nuts, but. We're going to go with it. Okay, I'll stop. Because I don't think we're going to move in the middle no. of our live. But. No. And I talk a lot with my hands and then I rest them on the table still. So. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll I think stop. like every, I'm touching the laptop and it's very yeah. sensitive. So cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the Jacksons, after we did our Texas A&M tour, we just walked the grounds and they had a, we were searching for their gardens. Um, I think we stumbled upon a little bit of it, but you know, the thing that is great about meeting new people and clicking with them is we were just enjoying the conversation. We were just enjoying the stroll. We came across like a covered bridge. Well, I guess it wasn't covered, but we came across a bridge over like this little stream and the kids wanted to go climb on rocks and play and find sticks. And um, while well, the adults just chit chatted. So, mm -hmm. you know, we, we veered from our plans just to enjoy some conversation yeah. and yeah, just got to know one another a little bit better. And mm -hmm. um, as a travel nurse family, they're also RVing. So they got to share a little bit about what that experience was like and, you know, just kind of, not that we were swapping stories yet, but yeah, just, you know, the usual stuff. Having here. stuff in common, it just yes. makes the conversation go so easy. Like I've never met go. Nate before and mm -hmm. we were sharing, would say, war stories with 
stay at, being the stay at home dad and doing mm-hmm. the homeschooling and talking about how sometimes things just feel like it's Groundhog Day. Or we, or we, <laughs> we always joke that the, the nurses come home. Well, of course, they work 12 hour shifts. So they come home and they spend an hour or two with the kids and they, okay, I've had enough. I'm like, 24 7 right here. Come on. That's 24 7 for me. Mm-hmm. But yeah, she's also dealing with being on her feet all day for 12 hours and doing all that. Yes. Mr. Nick Thomas in the house. Hey, Nick. Nice to see you. Behave Thanks yourself. For being here. Behave yourself now. That's my brother. I can say that, guys. <laughs> and hey, Grassroots Living. Good to see you. See. Roy and Becky's travels. Hello. Yes. Oh, thanks for the encouragement, New Horizons. That, that we're doing awesome on our live stream. Keep yes. Up. Thank you. Can I use some cheerleaders? Thank you, Susan. Yeah. Right. New Horizons, I believe. Try to think that one is correct. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to remember. It. I'm bad at names, y'all. I'm. I will remember your faces, but I'm. Oh, I'm terrible with names. It's my Achilles heel, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, but yeah, finally, I guess, hanging out with the Jacksons, we went and shared a meal together. Then we found a park and just kind of let the kids play. And I mean, overall, we probably spent a good five hours together, but the kids were really close in ages and, you know, we all, you know, find that common ground and it made conversation smooth and easy and they're just a great family. And it, I think it was just so needed. Um, especially for us here, because we haven't had that interaction with the RV park that we're staying at because it's a day use park. So the only other RVers are our next door neighbors and they're in their 80s and they're lovely, lovely people, but they cannot hear us half the time <laughs> when we're talking to them. Yeah. And, it, you know, they, they've got health issues and so they pretty much stay in their RV unless, you know, Bob has to come out and do the gate and things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so we, ha- we haven't been able to have that interaction with other folks, um, aside from me going to work and then, yeah, Bill does his rounds, but yeah, besides, really... we have basketball practice and talk to some of the other parents there. And, yeah. But yeah, it's not the same, isn't it? You know, pleasantries and, you know, acquaintances and folks you're meeting. It's not the same as m- potentially making new friends on the road. Mm-hmm. That's huge. Yeah. Right. So um, I think they are going to be in the Houston area until March, April. Yeah. So we're hoping that our schedules will align again and we can see them at least one more time before we head out um, towards the end of March Mm -hmm. for our next adventure. But social media is fantastic because even if we don't get to reconnect, you know, we can stay connected with one another online, which is actually how Christina found us. She um, was telling me she had never heard of travel nursing before with a family um, until she was perusing Instagram and stumbled upon our Instagram page. And then she saw we were on Facebook. So she went and watched um, like a mid bunk RV tour um, or maybe it was vice versa. She saw the RV tour first and then went to our Instagram page and saw that we were doing this as a family. So that was kind of her inspiration to like make it happen. Um, so yeah, we can definitely continue um, staying in touch that way. Thank goodness. Oh, so wait, new- we can do that. Yeah. There we go. Ah, uh, yes. We gotta do that. There we go. <laughs> How long do you stay in one spot for work? So um, most travel nurse contracts are for 13 weeks at a time, so three months. There are some out there that can be for eight week stretches, but we've never we've never come across those. So in the the nearly three years we've been doing this as a family, every three months um, we're in a spot and then we skedaddle to the next. Good question. Thank you. Mac the Knife. Hello. Thank you for joining us. He kids. Good one. Good one. Oh, yeah, Jerry Holly, he's giving props uh, for Grassroots Living. That's right, they're from the Kansas area. Of course, last weekend was Super Bowl Sunday, and the the Chiefs won. So. That's right, and I have it documented from last week's live. I picked the Chiefs. 
It was a good game. San Francisco <laughs> didn't win, and I was a little sad. And my little brother, um, Josh, was very heartbroken over it. My brother Nick, I know, is rooting for for the 49ers too. But it was it was a good game. So and and good for for Holmes. Uh, he's gonna. Sorry, I thought you were, I wasn't laughing that your brother's feelings were hurt. I thought you were going to tell the story about how he called you and. Like, oh yeah, <laughs> he's so, he's so funny. In, in my family, we joke a lot. Um, so he called me at like I don't know ten thirty, eleven o'clock at night, and I was already in bed because I had to work the next day. But I went ahead and answered it, and he was like, "Oh, they lost, they lost," and I was like in a half asleep daze. So uh, I, I was I was flabbergasted. Usually, you know, he and I are pretty tight. We can chit chat pretty easily. But w when I heard that he was crying, I was just like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> like, are you OK? Are, is it, are you serious? He's like, nah, I'm just messing with you. I'm like, OK, thank goodness. Because, oh, man, I was not prepared for that conversation. <laughs> yes. Ah. Like epic. Our epic RV adventures joined us. Thank oh, hello. You. Thank you very much. Nice to see you all. Okay. Yes. So that kind of sums up what we did Friday. Mm -hmm. And of course, I it's one of my days that I do the gate here at the Corps of Engineer Park. So we had to be back here in time for that. Uh, but we got, yeah, we spent most of the day yeah. in College Station with them. And then Yesterday, good old Diary of a Family rolled Yay! in, which was really cool because <laughs> we're trying to figure out like when we started following along uh, their adventure, and it was just like one of those other. It was early on. I think it was pretty close to like when they were hitting the road. Because mm -hmm. I remember, but it was before that. I don't know. I just my memory's terrible. I remember before it was the first contract. Because I remember. Mm -hmm. Well, I I now I'm trying to jog my memory that they just sort of took off. Or did they have a contract? Well, that was the whole Texas thing. Anyway, I don't know. We've been following them for a while. A long time. And we, I've talked to Garrett a few times on the phone. We chit-chat and text. And mm -hmm. he's a great resource. Uh, he's got the RV Media Creators also. So yes. it's a great resource if you're trying to perfect or improve upon your vlogging or mm -hmm. Even video recording, going live. It's got yeah. all sorts of great tips. Yeah. And RV Media Creators. And yes, they were coming from West Texas, which got hit by the snow. They kind of passed through some not so good weather out there. Mm -hmm. But we were glad they made it here safe. The sun was sort of shining. I think it was a little cloudy when they got here. But, but it was great. So yeah. we got to hang out with them. And uh, they were going to crash at. Cracker Barrel. Cracker, cracky Barrel or something. <laughs> and but we actually, here at the Corps of Engineer Park, I just thought, I mean, what would it hurt? I reached out to the ranger and said, you know, they're just going to boondock. They don't need power or anything. Is it okay if they just stay in the parking lot for the night? Parking lot will be empty and they'll be out in the morning. And they said, yeah. So they got to gotta hang out all night. Mm -hmm. Had dinner and yeah, got it. Shoot the bowl all night and yeah. watch the kids play. Yes. What is fantastic about this RV life is, at least from the kids' perspective, is you you're not boxed into social norms. Like when we were kids growing up, um, you know, you only played with the people who were in your grade or in your age group, because if you were older playing with someone younger, you weren't cool, and if you were younger trying to play with someone older, it was just like, ah, get out of here, kid. Like, what are you trying to do? And, you know, being on the road, you learn that if you see a child, it doesn't matter what their age is. You know, if you want to have somebody to hang out with, you need to go make a friend. So um, Garrett and Carolyn's kids are, let's see if I can get this right, three, six, and nine. I didn't realize they were all three years apart. That was Good job on your guys' yeah. part. That's like the perfect span. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then our children are nine, no, ten. And he's about to be ten. He's about to be ten, like next month. Nine and twelve. 
Um, but yeah, like they hit it off right away. Of course, Bella, my eldest, our eldest being of, you know, the preteen stuff, like every now and again, is just like, oh, I'm bored, you know, but it was so cute. I captured a really cute picture. I haven't posted it yet. I'm going to put it online, but I captured a really cute picture of her and Emma. And there's a three year age difference between the two girls, just like hanging out and chit chatting, just walking down the road together. And it's just, it's so sweet to see kids just being kids and interacting and having fun regardless of age limits, you know, regardless of, of, you know, all of the social norms, just go out and have a great time. So yeah, the kids hit it off right away. Um, Carolyn and I, of course we could chit chat about anything, but you know, we always have like the nursing thing to come back to to chat, but you know, it was just easy. It was just easy hanging out and have them, you know, just down the road here <laughs> so we could right. could get together and have dinner and just hang out. Like, it, it was great. It was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was amazing to have them here. A few more joined us. Crystal's Pets, hello. Hey, guys. Let's go somewhere motorhome travels. Looks like uh, my brother is here. So now we have Natasha's brother, Nick, my brother, Brian. Oh. So. That's <laughs> a good time. Yeah. Put down, yes, that's a funny story. Mm -hmm. Brian says he played with his siblings growing up. Must have had other siblings. He never played with me. <laughs> oh, I'm that's joking. not true. That's I'm not joking. true. Yes, I would have to agree with Grassroots Living. Um, Garrett and Carolyn are great people, and their kids are awesome. Yeah. Yep. We second that. 17 in the room. Thanks for keeping track, Jerry Holly. You are awesome. Nick's better looking than everyone, or maybe than my brother. Yeah. Sure, I'll go with that. We'll let them just talk smack to each other. It's fine, <laughs> whatever. Just ignore all that stuff. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. so we had a good time. And we did. they're staying, I don't know, how long did it take you to get there? What is it, an hour and a half? Yeah, like an to hour and a half. Where they're going to be for the next away in Texas. month or so. Mm -hmm. So we definitely plan on seeing them again. Yes. And one Once of the or other. Once twice or thrice. Yeah. And then, of course, the other nursing family that's in the area. We They haven't launched as a travel nurse family yet. We keep, we keep working, working on it. On it. <laughs> <laughs> but the LaRue's are really close by as well. So we're hoping, you know, we can kind of get together and hang out and spend more time together. Right. Absolutely. So yeah, that kind of. So that's what we've been doing this weekend, which mm -hmm. kind of leads into what we were going to talk about today is all about like how we stay connected. Uh, like how do we get involved yeah. with the friends that we've made and keep in contact mm -hmm. and how do we make new connections and, mm -hmm. and that can be really all over the board from all these great new connections we've made here on YouTube through yes. the RV TV guide. Thanks to Jerry Holly again and James Catanese for putting that together. Mm -hmm. Great channels like uh, Blue Wave Odyssey yep. for all he does for the community. And then just, just, yeah, just the way everybody supports each other. Mm -hmm. And it's just really, really cool. Yeah. Because, I mean, we're, we've all embraced the RV life, you know, whether, whether it's, you know, stationary, whether you're moving every other day, um, you know, however you RV, you know, we're all in this journey together. So it's nice, you know, that you have that community because, you know, one of the things that always comes up um, in a lot of like the the RV communities with the young folks who have families like we do is there are reservations within the family about jumping into this lifestyle, you know, whether it comes from like mom and dad or, you know, grandparents or, or whomever, mm -hmm. you know, they, they are very concerned with why you would want to get into this lifestyle. Um, of course, all the reasons why, and, you know, kind of how you, um, you know, calm those reasons that that could be like a whole other live stream, like a whole other segment. But really what it boils down to is having that community. Um, 
and social media is fantastic for the community. Um, you know, when we started out, we did a lot. We were mostly on Facebook. Mm-hmm. I think you jumped into Instagram just to kind of share our photos. But really, in the beginning, it was just about keeping our friends and family updated with where we were in the country and what we were doing. Right. Um, and then as we got more and more comfortable with the RV lifestyle, that's when you started doing more of the videos. And I like to take pictures, so I was doing more of the Instagram. And you know, now that we've got the RV thing down, you know, we can focus on other things like YouTube. But the social media areas is a great way to find your people, to find your tribe, and connect. Mm-hmm. And not just connect with them online, but then that gives you opportunity. Be like, hey, if you're in the area, let's meet up. You know, we've chatted online. Let's let's go meet you and, and, you know, hang out. Which is funny, like when you're a kid, you know, like you're stranger danger. (laughs) You know, you shouldn't be meeting people off the Internet. But it's different when you're an adult. And, you know, you, 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 you see their travels and you feel like you have a sense of who they are. In worst case scenario, I mean, if you meet somebody and it does not spark, you can just drive on to the next destination. Oh, that's right. <laughs> we've never had that happen um, with any of the folks we've met. We've met some fantastic people because, you know, everybody in this RV community is awesome. So um, we've been blessed in, in that sense. But yep. Social media absolutely is a fantastic way to meet people. Hello, Justin and Christina's. RB Van Lack. Hey guys. Thanks for coming in. But yeah, I think that's where it kind of led us into when we started searching. Like we just went to like Facebook. I don't know if everybody's on Facebook. We just go to Facebook and you just type in full time RV and you get a list of 20 Facebook groups or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, that's how we got into like full time families. We met them and then we, because it was a regular group and then there's a members group. Um, so I think we got into that Then what's really kind of skyrocketed our social networking was when we actually went to a rally for the first time yes. in Madison, Florida, a full-time family rally, which was a lot of people. I can't remember the numbers. 280 people. It was 69 families. Mm. Yeah, it was, it was overwhelming. Right. And that was our first RV rally. And what was crazy is we'd been on the road for what was it, two years? Mm-hmm. Almost two years. Mm-hmm. And it was our first RV rally because it's really hard with our schedule and the fact that we're in a spot for three months and then we move. And when we move, we only take like a week off because, well, money. <laughs> we don't have any money if I'm not working. So it's hard to sync up those rallies and those meetups you know, when you're traveling and and that one just happened to work out at the time. Mm -hmm. Um, So it was our first one. And yeah, it was, it was overwhelming. Yes. So our epic RV adventure, we are presently in Waco, Texas, and we will be here until the second or third week in March. And then we don't know yet. (laughs) Yeah. Usually we start looking for the next contract with like four to six weeks left of the current one. So right now would be about the time we start looking. But we've also talked about taking some time off in between these contracts um, and just kind of living off of savings and income tax refund um, because we still have passes for Disney for when we were in Orlando last spring. And we're huge Star Wars fans. And of course, they opened up Star Wars. So we'd love to go back to Disney with our passes, you know, for a few days and experience that and see some of our friends that we've met with full-time families because a lot of them full they hang out in the Orlando area Mm -hmm. um, or in Florida so you know make those connections again because we haven't seen them since last March and we're gonna miss the rally this year because it happens like a week or two before my contract ends so Mm -hmm. yeah so that was yeah so social media that's kind of the first topic that we were talking about and I was just looking at, yeah, yeah, Nick. I mean, uh, we, we get it. Yeah, if you have hobbies, like you're working on your Jeep and mm-hmm. you got your big hobbies, it'd be it'd be hard to leave those behind. Yeah, but I think 
Luckily, I don't really have any hobbies. I, I do. Oh. Well, I guess the, the, the videos here, I do enjoy photography. I like, mm -hmm. I'm still a kid and I play video games because we travel with our PlayStation. But, so I do that. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, I get it. Yep. So, yeah, so we were just talking about social media. So then the other part, next part, we, uh, how we find community on the road mm -hmm. are these uh, kind of the memberships that we kind of talked about last week, but just, yeah, once again, full-time families were part of that. Uh, and the other big one that we're part of is the Road Life Project, mm -hmm. uh, which we're actually, there's a Facebook group called Full-Time RV Family Life that we have been moderators and admin on for a while now. Mm -hmm. And then that kind of got developed by uh, folks that you can find them on YouTube also, Hippie and a Tech, mm -hmm. and Two Beards and a Babe. Yep. And they kind of put together this whole Road Live project, which is just another great group. And mm -hmm. they actually held a fall festival, which we met some other great families there. And then mm -hmm. since then, one of them, because most people in their RV are always constantly moving around. Mm -hmm. One actually had come back to the area and we got to reconnect uh, the Allen family. Yep. And they're from Jacksonville, Florida. So they went out west and then they're coming back through to go home, back to normal life for them. Yeah, sad <laughs> face. But they're hoping maybe they can travel at least during the summer. Yeah. Um, because her job is very flexible. I think they had to figure out what they were going to do with his job. But yeah. But when we go down to Florida, now we have more friends that we can meet up with down there while we're in Florida. And again, that's the beauty of. Of traveling is you have friends in all these different states so um you know wherever you go there's usually somebody you can meet up with mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and initially for us when we started traveling it was a bonus way to see friends and family that we had spread out all over the country um my dad had moved out to north carolina what was it nick like 15 20 years ago and we'd never made it out there. It was really expensive to fly with kids and it's like a 24 hour drive. So it, we, it just didn't happen. Um, so traveling, we were actually able to go down and see him. Um, and we spent a, an actual contract down there. So we got to spend lots of time with him and, uh, 12. okay. 12 years. And now my brother, Josh and his family had lived in Kansas city, Missouri. So yes, she is the chief's fan. So they were Chiefs and 49ers head to head in their house. But anyway, they moved to Phoenix, Arizona. So now, you know, we have somebody to, to visit over there. Mm -hmm. um, of course, most of your family is in Omaha. Most of my family is um, in central Iowa or the northwest part of Iowa. So we And you've got a brother in Minnesota. Yep. I have a friend in a really, really great friend in Kansas. I mean, we have... We've got extended family in Oregon, <laughs> right? Extended family in Arizona. We we just we know people and we we have people we love all over the place, and it's really hard to go see everybody. And when you're living in the sticks and bricks, you're doing the nine to five Monday through Friday. When you save up for vacation, it's like, do I want to go somewhere cool and have an experience, or do I want to go see these people that I love that I haven't seen forever? And then that's my vacation. So traveling is the best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is why I know a lot of the guys in the uh, RV YouTube community, mm -hmm. they're all excited. Yes, Crystal's Pets brought it up. Uh, this uh, getting together in Tennessee oh, at this Mayberry get that's together. That's the Mayberry. That's right. I just keep singing Rascal Flats. I miss Mayberry in my head. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think through our village there's one coming up next week i don't wonder if anybody's going to it it's in uh, florida as well that's some sort of is it a spring i don't know the name of it but i know it's going on from our village and i know that mm -hmm. a north lot of carolina. the road life project folks were going to be there also north carolina i'm mm -hmm. sorry yeah not not tennessee there you go it's all the same. We're from the Midwest, so all that stuff's the same. <laughs> Just like everybody from the East Coast is probably like, eh, Nebraska, South Dakota. I'm joking. It's not the same. No. no. 
So Altoona Grassroots Living, Altoona, Iowa. What are you all going to... No, that's Des Moines, right? Are you guys going back to Adventureland? What? What are you all doing? We thought about doing that. But wait a minute. Yeah, I watched you guys' videos on that. Well, I watched the review. I guess I haven't seen the latest, if that's what they were, if that's what their plans were. I thought you weren't too keen on that. <laughs> well, I mean, Iowa is a pretty great, it's an underrated state. Yeah. It's a pretty great state, especially in the summertime, for sure. And my brother says that they have a great biker rally. So, mm -hmm. if, you're, if you're into motorbikes, for sure. That was number two, the RV memberships of our ways of finding community on the road mm -hmm. when we actually talked about number three <laughs> which the was the yeah. rallies yep. but no and then yeah there was uh delaney i'm seeing i'm so bad with names the rose we roam they're talking about mm -hmm. the get together out in west yeah, yellowstone yeah, with adventures with delaney uh-huh in yellowstone you're right travels with delaney travels with delaney see yeah and plus i have this pressure of performing for the <laughs> live so it's thrown yeah. off my brain too but yeah not for kids don't go to the bike rally yes so it's not at adventureland huh? <laughs> but yeah but that's yes the rallies mm -hmm. which being a traveler's family they're kind of hard to hit for us because unless it we are intentional and mm -hmm. we know when they are far enough in advance and we can either try to match up our nursing jobs with them mm -hmm. or extend a week or two to make sure that the nursing job ends so that we can make it to the rally. Right. Plus, yeah, there's a whole, with travel nursing, there's a whole thing there where, you know, cause you're going to, you might miss a paycheck cause obviously you're not working during the rally. Again. It's tricky. Yeah. But it's a great way to connect mm -hmm. and meet people and stay connected. Yes. And for us, full-time families and real life project were great rallies because they were centered for families. Um, so it's great that we get to meet new people, but also that the kids get to meet new people as well. And it's more challenging for them to stay connected than it is for us because they don't have the social media like we do. Um, for a while, our kids were really into the kids' messenger, so it's something that we get to see when they're doing chats with their friends. We see everything 100% what they're chatting with, um, what the things that they're saying, just to make sure it's appropriate and they're not sharing important information that they shouldn't be sharing online. Um, and they keep up with some of their friends that they've met that way, but we are, as much as we love technology and um, gaming and computers and stuff we also limit that a lot with our children and they it's a privilege that they have to earn so within that privilege they don't always get to log on to catch up with their friends so i think that's becoming more and more of a challenge <laughs> but with road life project they've had something called digital pen pals where they have like an event once a week that they could log on to and do an activity and then see other kids and interact that way. So that was also kind of a nice additional tool. Mm -hmm. And I know uh, full-time families has things like that, like for their different subgroups. Um, it's just, they're, they're huge and they have lots of different branches within full-time families within their kids groups. And we just have to be more intentional about jumping on something that might be interesting for the kids and making it a part of their routine. But, mm -hmm. but yeah, the rallies, they're the best. They're exhausting. Yeah. You're up at like 8 a.m. to go do activities and coffee talks and meet people. And then you're out at campfires until 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night. And you're doing that for five, six, seven days straight. So you're mm -hmm. exhausted at the end. But the friendships you make, they're, they're amazing. And, you know, in this lifestyle, you've got to make friendships fast. You know, you got, you got to get rid of all of the, the fluff and stuff on the outside and get down to the nitty gritty um, because you don't know when you're going to see those people again. So we, we've made some fantastic friendships and, and folks that we get to, to hang out with. Um, in fact, our national adventure was one of the families we met um, at the full-time family rally, and we haven't seen them since um, we, we did the rally, but, um, you know, we're always connecting with one another online, so it's definitely a great a great way to stay connected, and one of, the, one of the things that we're very thankful for, being on the road. 
I was just thinking the Road Life Project one, it, it stemmed from the family group, the full-time family RV group, but there was all sorts of, there was couples there, and some were a little older. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's just like you're saying, like somebody like Gator, who I know watches our stuff sometimes, mm-hmm. like you would never think like you're going to click with somebody until you actually just start talking to somebody. And like you said, you Absolutely. know, you just stuff breaks down real quick and mm-hmm. you're just having a good conversation with people that you may not ever really talk to and in any other way, but you have things in common. So it's just things just start out so quickly, yep. you know, just good folks, good conversation. Exactly. Oh, man. I was reading about Michael decided to reboot the internet without thinking she was using it. Oopsie. That's funny. <laughs> Now, I, I recall, now, Michael, you said, was going to Omaha. Oh. So, or he's going to Offit. And you were looking at places to stay in Omaha. Mm-hmm. I wonder how that is coming along, or when you're actually going there. Maybe it's not in the immediate future. But we definitely have some tips for you. Yes. Yeah. Feel free to reach out if you guys need any uh, any suggestions on RV parks or just things to do in the area. We'll, we'll definitely help, for sure. That's why Barbara is having a Diva Live. Oh, that sounds fun. <laughs> diva Live. Okay. So what's what's next on our things oh. to find community, Bill? We're just, yeah, just making connections. We just put next. It's just, yeah, get outside. Meet your neighbors. Mm-hmm. Especially in those big RV parks. Just, yeah, sit outside. I know a lot of folks say they're in, like, game football game seasons and stuff people have their tv on out there or mm-hmm. folks that we don't have that but yeah if you have that if you're outside watching the game people gather yep uh for us a big one was uh just walking the dog mm-hmm. if you're out walking the dog some other folks are out walking the dog or people stop you and ask you about your dog yep that's a great way to meet folks yeah especially when they see that you're responsible and picking up after your dog. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Or even just if you don't have a, a, a pet that you're taking care of, just getting outside and, you know, going for a stroll, going for a morning walk together, go, going for an evening stroll. Or it's, it's something that we struggle with. Bill, for sure. I don't know if you can tell, but he's very introverted, um, especially in a large group setting. Um, he's he's a better one-on-one type guy. Um, but taking that first step to put yourself out there is very challenging for him. Um, when I was a kid, I had I was almost crippling shyness. Um, I, I just remember I've got cousins that um, are probably 12 years older than I am. Um, and I just remember going over to their house as a kid and being so afraid to talk to them. Like I was going and huddling close to my mom because my 14 year old, 16 year old cousin said hello. And he was so old at that time. Like, what is this guy doing? And it freaked me out. But as I've gotten older and, you know, you, you learn to put yourself out there, especially as a travel nurse, because I'm walking into a new job every three months, people I've never met before. Um, and you just, you have to put yourself out there. Like, Hey, this is me. It's great to meet you. And if you make connections, that's awesome. No, you're not going to click with everybody and that's okay. But it's you just have to put yourself out there, mm-hmm. and it, I think you're you're getting a lot better at it. I think some of, um, of me is rubbing off on you. <laughs> I try, I try. I'm feeling a little awkward sometimes when I start talking. Even as you can see on here, like I'll just start. My mouth's moving quicker than my brain can handle. And I just stumble. Like, what was I saying? I don't know. But yeah, that's that's me yeah. in a nutshell. Uh, yes. Brian, that, that that that's my brother. He's in <laughs> Omaha, so he can show you around there. <laughs> Our epic RV adventure. No, you guys should look into if you're going to Offit. Look in into May. around May they said. Uh, sh- yeah, Walnut Creek mm-hmm. uh, Recreation Area is in Papillion, Nebraska, and it'd actually be a straight shot down what is Highway 370. Yep. And take you right down to Offit. So, look into that one. That one's 
pretty wide open space. I think yep. they still have young trees there, so no one have to worry about. Mm-hmm. At least since we were there, yeah. I guess. Yeah, we stopped back every once in a while. We haven't stayed there. We've thought about it, but I do have a good friend near there that lets us kind of boom back. Not mm-hmm. really boom back because he has no, he... He has 50. <laughs> Mike Herman, hope you watch this stuff. <laughs> he, he says he didn't do it for us. Well, he has an RV as well. But he, <laughs> for a fee. Ha ha. But he uh, put in, actually put in 50 amp electrical on the front of his garage. Basically because we were coming. Mm -hmm. And he swears he didn't do it just for us. But I think he only has 30 amp for his trailer. But yeah, really cool guy. And then he runs a hose out for us. So basically we have hookups minus sewer, but he does, yeah. If we wanted to, we could figure that out, too. They do have the, mm-hmm. whatever you call it. Septic. Yeah. Drain somewhere. So. Yeah. But yeah, great places in there. And that's tons of places in in the Omaha surrounding areas, for sure. We can, for RV parks? Yeah. No, not really. Well, well, not tons. There, There's quite a few. Yeah. yeah. Um, Justin and Christina's RV van life said that they're an introvert until you get to know her. I don't know. If, I don't know if it's Justin or Christina, but one of you is an introvert until they get to know you, <laughs> and then I don't shut up. Yeah, that's that's pretty much me too. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, what did it say? Oh, Harvey. oh, they're rep- they're replying about the diva comment. So Happy Place Camping was saying live on Saturday at eight central is being taken over by the woman. Oh man, I gotta see if. I'm off work actually by eight central knock on wood. I, even if I do work, I can be home and have a glass of wine ready. So I'm going to have to put a reminder on that in my phone so I can check that out. RV for four hopped in. Hey guys, thanks for joining us. So they are asking for homeschooling suggestions, online programs for the kids. Um, we can definitely do that as um, as another live. Certainly, we do have a video. Actually, if you shameless plug, but if you go to our video section, we do have um, a video about homeschooling. But just kind of a quick snippet: the first couple of years we were on the road, we used a textbook um, program called My Father's World. It is a Christian-based program, and we used that in the beginning because we weren't sure of like internet service, being brand new RVers and things like that. We really liked it. They had a syllabus that kind of explained everything day by day, day by day for the entire year. Um, And you could add and subtract, you know, criteria and curriculum and things like that. And we really loved that. This year, because we have the internet thing down and the kids are older, and I think um, some of the things are getting more challenging to teach, especially Isabella with her math. We decided to look into some online programs and we are utilizing something called Easy Peasy, which is actually it's not a program per se. It is basically a compilation of um, a homeschool mom had kept track of all of the, the tools and the things that she used for. I think she had five children from kindergarten to high school and she took all of the tools that they used and she put it together in basically a syllabus for every age from kindergarten to high school. Um, And it follows a lot of the same curriculum that we were using with my father's world. Um, So it was an easy transition with us. And again, they do have um, some Christian based material as well. But again, if that's not your thing, that's something that you can remove from the curriculum. But that's what we've been using. And the cool thing about Easy Peasy is it's free. They just ask for a donation. So that's something that you can just check out and kind of dabble in and see if if that's something that you're interested. In. So great question. And again, maybe a really great topic that we can dive into for another live. Mm-hmm. But thank you so much for joining us. Oh, happy pace camping. I love, I love the enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down. You guys sound like my kind of people. I am down. Oh, well, let's see. Looks like a little banter between Nick and his army. Giving our Air Force friends our epic RV adventure a little bit of heck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. My brother was um, Army Reserves. He actually signed up. Um, he was living 
um, we lived together at a time before Bill and he, uh, he signed up um, when his son um, was like a year and a half or two years, um, got deployed to Iraq um, and did a tour over there, came back home and um, yeah, just unfortunately, um, he was medically discharged um, due to a motorcycle accident, but um, he still is in contact with his brothers that he served with over there, um, is very proud um, of of his his camaraderie, his friendships that he's made there. And as a family, we're very proud of him. Um, you know, he was able to to make that sacrifice for our country, um, even though he's snarky and even though he's, Too he's a stinker, but... <laughs> But I'm I'm proud of him. I love him for it. So, yeah, I hear I don't know because I'm not military, but I hear there's a little bit of you know jibbing and jabbing, you know, in between the different branches of the military. So just be just be nice. <laughs> we do have about uh, four minutes left. Whew, that hour has zipped by. Holy smokes! So we do want to run down who else. At least this may be a little. Out of date. I don't know if Jerry Holly's still in here, if he has a schedule. Here's what we have for the RV uh, YouTube TV guide for this evening. Okay. Uh, six Eastern looks like Beyond Beauty 3. Yes. Uh, seven Eastern is Proceeding Onward, American POA. Uh, eight Eastern is Papa Drew's RV and Epic RV Adventure. Is that right? You guys go head to head, or maybe this isn't right. Maybe it is. And then at nine Eastern is Diary of a Family. So I don't know if you guys that are in the room keep the party going. We're just the warm up, right? That's right. We're the <laughs> opening act. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's good. Our epic RV. Adventure doesn't mind a little teasing. Okay. All the army can do because <laughs> <laughs> we have the better everything. Yeah, so I like it. I'm not. I'm not touching that. I'm not touching. I that like at all. it. So we got to wrap up our finding community on the road. We did social media. We did RV memberships, rallies, get outside, and lastly, we this was kind of a question. Be interesting to ask you guys how often. Like we talked about, it, we have family and friends all over the place. Mm -hmm. When you're out traveling, how often do you make it a point that you're stopping to see family, or how often do you go home? Yeah. Uh, to see your family mm -hmm. or friends or yeah. wherever your home may be. Yeah. Is it just during like the holiday season? Do you all just go back and you know park it for a couple of months, spend you know Christmas, Hanukkah, New Year's? Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate, you know, with your friends and family, and then you go back out on the road. Um, we've met a lot of snowbirds at some of our parks that kind of do that. They wait until the holidays are over and then they head south. Um, are you guys like us? Do you have like people spread out all over our big, beautiful country and you just kind of, you know, circumnavigate it and you be intentional about when you stop so you can see other folks? Just very interested. Just curious. curious. Yeah. And you have two minutes to tell us. No, you can leave a comment at <laughs> there the you end. Go. Engagement. Yes, we will peruse it even after the live. <laughs> leave your comments. And I was also noticing lots of good feedback about the homeschooling stuff. I saw um, Crystal's Pets was thinking about homeschooling, Happy Place Camping. Their kids are all grown, but um, they use a lot of. of good stuff um, for homeschooling. Um, I know Grassroots Living, they are former teachers. So they might have some resources and some really good information about um, homeschooling and, and being on the road and stuff like that. So we might have to make that alive. That's right. We'll have to do a little bit more research um, because our bubble of knowledge is very small but to kind of expand it. But yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. hey, Extraordinary Journey. Hello, Thanks for hello. jumping in. <laughs> so good to see you. Um, make sure you go back to the beginning so you can kind of hear what we were talking <laughs> about. And, um, we finding community on the road. That was our theme for today. So thanks for jumping in. We appreciate the love. Papa Drew does not go live every every Sunday. Okay. And it's not live tonight. Okay. okay. Maybe that's why they have. Maybe they alternate. 
if they've got two of them kind of scheduled for the same time, Papa Drew and our Epic RV Adventure. Maybe. Maybe. Let's yeah. tune in. We're new. We're new and we're still getting our flow down and, you know, catching up on all these live streams and meeting more people, um, building our community. So that's right. We appreciate that. Thank you, Thin Blue Lane, for listening and working. Very nice of you. Yes. Yes. You guys are amazing. Oh, oh. five o'clock. We that wasn't... better sign out. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, to everybody. If I knew, I'll have to work on that for next time. Put the actual link for Beyond Beauty 3. I don't know if everybody head over there. Tell them you're like everyone says it's a raid. Head to Beyond Beauty 3. I guess search for them on YouTube. That's so right. We'll jump on over there. Tell too. them we sent you. Absolutely. You guys have a fantastic week and we'll see you same time next week, 5 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Central, right here. All right. Thank you, everybody. Bye, guys.